USB abbreviation of Universal Serial Bus is an industry standard that establishes specifications for cables, connectors and protocols for connection, communication and power supply between personal computers and their peripheral devices. There have been 3 generations of USB specifications. USB 1, X, USB 2.0 with multiple updates and additions. USB 3.0 X released in 1996, the USB standard is currently maintained by the USB Implementers Forum USB -IF. Topic. Overview USB was designed to standardize the connection of peripherals like keyboards, pointing devices, digital still and video cameras, printers, portable media players, disk drives and network adapters to personal computers, both to communicate and to supply electric power. It has largely replaced interfaces such as serial ports and parallel ports, and has become commonplace on a wide range of devices. USB connectors have been increasingly replacing other types for battery chargers of portable devices. Topic. Receptacle socket identification This section is intended to allow fast identification of USB receptacles sockets on equipment. Further diagrams and discussion of plugs and receptacles can be found in USB physical section connectors. Topic. Objectives The Universal Serial Bus was developed to simplify and improve the interface between personal computers and peripheral devices, when compared with previously existing standard or ad hoc proprietary interfaces. From the computer user's perspective, the USB interface improved ease of use in several ways. The USB interface is self configuring, so the user need not adjust settings on the device and interface for speed or data format, or configure interrupts, input output addresses, or direct memory access channels. USB connectors are standardized at the host, so any peripheral can use any available receptacle. USB takes full advantage of the additional processing power that can be economically put into peripheral devices so that they can manage themselves. USB devices often do not have user adjustable interface settings. The USB interface is hot pluggable, meaning devices can be exchanged without rebooting the host computer. Small devices can be powered directly from the USB interface, displacing extra power supply cables. Because use of the USB logos is only permitted after compliance testing, the user can have confidence that a USB device will work as expected without extensive interaction with settings and configuration. The USB interface defines protocols for recovery from common errors, improving reliability over previous interfaces. Installation of a device relying on the USB standard requires minimal operator action. When a device is plugged into a port on a running personal computer system, it is either entirely automatically configured using existing device drivers, or the system prompts the user to locate a driver which is then installed and configured automatically. For hardware manufacturers and software developers, the USB standard eliminates the requirement to develop proprietary interfaces to new peripherals. The wide range of transfer speeds available from a USB interface suits devices ranging from keyboards and mice up to streaming video interfaces. A USB interface can be designed to provide the best available latency for time-critical functions, or can be set up to do background transfers of bulk data with little impact on system resources. The USB interface is generalized with no signal lines dedicated to only one function of one device. Topic. Limitations USB cables are limited in length, as the standard was meant to connect to peripherals on the same tabletop, not between rooms or between buildings. However, a USB port can be connected to a gateway that accesses distant devices. USB has a strict tree topology and master slave. Protocol for addressing peripheral devices, peripheral devices cannot interact with one another except via the host, and two hosts cannot communicate over their USB ports directly. Some extension to this limitation is possible through USB on the go. A host cannot broadcast signals to all peripherals at once, each must be addressed individually. Some very high-speed peripheral devices require sustained speeds not available in the USB standard. While converters exist between certain legacy 
interfaces and USB, they may not provide full implementation of the legacy hardware, for example, a USB to parallel port converter may work well with a printer, but not with a scanner that requires bi-directional use of the data pins. For a product developer, use of USB requires implementation of a complex protocol and implies an intelligent controller in the peripheral device. Developers of USB devices intended for public sale generally must obtain a USB ID which requires a fee paid to the implementer's forum. Developers of products that use the USB specification must sign an agreement with implementer's forum. Use of the USB logos on the product require annual fees and membership in the organization. History A group of seven companies began the development of USB in 1994, Compaq, DEC, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, NEC, and Nortel. The goal was to make it fundamentally easier to connect external devices to PCs by replacing the multitude of connectors at the back of PCs, addressing the usability issues of existing interfaces, and simplifying software configuration of all devices connected to USB, as well as permitting greater data rates for external devices. A team including a J-Bot worked on the standard at Intel. The first integrated circuits supporting USB were produced by Intel in 1995. The original USB 1.0 specification, which was introduced in January 1996, defined data transfer rates of 1.5 megabits per second low speed and 12 megabits per second full speed. Microsoft Windows 95 OSR 2.1 provided OEM support for the devices. The first widely used version of USB was 1.1, which was released in September 1998. The 12 megabits per second data rate was intended for higher speed devices such as disk drives, and the lower 1.5 megabits per second rate for low data rate devices such as joysticks. Apple Inc.'s iMac was the first mainstream product with USB and the iMac's success popularized USB itself. Following Apple's design decision to remove all legacy port from the iMac, many PC manufacturers began building legacy-free PCs, which led to the broader PC market using USB as a standard. The USB 2.0 specification was released in April 2000 and was ratified by the USB Implementers Forum (USBIF) at the end of 2001. Hewlett Packard, Intel, Lucent Technologies, now Nokia, NEC, and Philips jointly led the initiative to develop a higher data transfer rate, with the resulting specification achieving 480 megabits per second, 40 times as fast as the original USB 1.1 specification. The USB 3.0 specification was published on the 12th of November 2008. Its main goals were to increase the data transfer rate up to 5 gigabits per second, decrease power consumption, increase power output, and be backward compatible with USB 2.0. USB 3.0 includes a new, higher speed bus called SuperSpeed in parallel with the USB 2.0 bus. For this reason, the new version is also called SuperSpeed. The first USB 3.0 equipped devices were presented in January 2010. As of 2008, approximately 6 billion USB ports and interfaces were in the global marketplace, and about 2 billion were being sold each year. The USB 3.1 specification was published in July 2013. In December 2014, USB if submitted USB 3.1, USB Power Delivery 2.0 and USB Type-C specifications to the IEC, TC100 Audio, Video and Multimedia Systems and Equipment for inclusion in the International Standard IEC 62680 Universal Serial Bus Interfaces for Data and Power, which is currently based on USB 2.0. The USB 3.2 specification was published in September. September 2017. Topic: USB 1.x. Released in January 1996, USB 1.0 specified data rates of 1.5 megabits per second, low bandwidth or low speed, and 12 megabits per second, full speed. It did not allow for extension cables or pass-through monitors due to timing and power limitations. Few USB devices made it to the market until USB 1.1 was released in August 1998. USB 1.1 was the earliest revision that was widely adopted and led to what Microsoft designated the legacy-free PC 
Neither USB 1.0 nor 1.1 specified a design for any connector smaller than the standard Type A or Type B though many designs for a miniaturized Type B connector appeared on many peripherals. Conformity to the USB 1.0 X standard was hampered by treating peripherals that had miniature connectors as though they had a tethered connection that is, no plug or receptacle at the peripheral end. There was no known miniature Type A connector until USB 2.0 revision 1.01 introduced one. Topic. USB 2.0 USB 2.0 was released in April 2000, adding a higher maximum signaling rate of 480 megabits per second high speed or high bandwidth, in addition to the USB 1.0 x full speed signaling rate of 12 megabits per second. Due to bus access constraints, the effective throughput of the high speed signaling rate is limited to 280 megabits per second or 35 megabytes per second. Modifications to the USB specification have been made via engineering change notices (ECN). The most important of these ECNs are included into the USB 2.0 specification package available from USB.org. Mini A and Mini B connector Micro USB cables and connectors specification 1.01 Interchip USB supplement On the Go supplement 1.3 USB on the Go makes it possible for two USB devices to communicate with each other without requiring a separate USB host Battery charging specification 1.1 added support for dedicated chargers host chargers behavior for devices with dead batteries Battery charging specification 1.2, with increased current of 1.5A on charging ports for unconfigured devices, allowing high-speed communication while having a current up to 1.5A and allowing a maximum current of 5A. Link power management addendum ECN which adds a sleep power state. Topic. USB 3.x The USB 3.0 specification was released on 12 November 2008, with its management transferring from USB 3.0 Promoter Group to the USB Implementers Forum USB -IF, and announced on 17 November 2008 at the Superspeed USB Developers Conference. USB 3.0 adds a superspeed transfer mode, with associated backward compatible plugs, receptacles, and cables. Superspeed plugs and receptacles are identified with a distinct logo and blue inserts in standard format receptacles. The Superspeed bus provides for a transfer mode at a nominal rate of 5.0 gigabits per second, in addition to the three existing transfer modes. Its efficiency is dependent on a number of factors including physical symbol encoding and link level overhead. At a 5 gigabits per second 625 byte s signaling rate with 8B, 10B encoding, the raw throughput is 500 byte s When flow control, packet framing and protocol overhead are considered, it is realistic for 400 byte s 3.2 gigabits per second or more to be delivered to an application. Communication is full duplex in superspeed transfer mode, earlier modes are half duplex, arbitrated by the host. Low power and high power devices remain operational with this standard, but devices using superspeed can take advantage of increased available current of between 150 mA and 900 mA, respectively. USB 3.1, released in July 2013, preserves the existing superspeed transfer rate under a new label USB 3.1 Gen 1, and introduces a new superspeed plus transfer mode, USB 3.1 Gen 2, with the maximum data signaling rate to 10 gigabits per second 1250 megabytes per second twice the rate of USB 3.0 which reduces line encoding overhead to just 3% by changing the encoding scheme to 128b/132b.use 3.2 released in September 2017 preserves existing USB 3.1 superspeed and superspeed plus data modes but introduces two new superspeed plus transfer modes over the USB C connector with data rates of 10 and 20 gigabits per second 1250 and 2500 megabytes per second the increase in bandwidth is a result of multi-lane operation over existing wires that were intended for flip-flop capabilities of the type c connector topic version history topic release versions topic 
Power related specifications System design A USB system consists of a host with one or more downstream ports, and multiple peripherals, forming a tiered star topology. Additional USB hubs may be included, allowing up to five tiers. A USB host may have multiple controllers, each with one or more ports. Up to 127 devices may be connected to a single host controller. USB devices are linked in series through hubs. The hub built into the host controller is called root hub. A USB device may consist of several logical sub-devices that are referred to as device functions. A composite device may provide several functions, for example, a webcam video device function with a built-in microphone audio device function. An alternative to this is compound device, in which the host assigns each logical device a distinctive address and all logical devices connect to a built-in hub that connects to the physical USB cable. USB device communication is based on pipes logical channels. A pipe is a connection from the host controller to a logical entity, found on a device, and named an endpoint. Because pipes correspond to endpoints, the terms are sometimes used interchangeably. A USB device could have up to 32 endpoints 16 in, 16 out, though it is rare to have so many. An endpoint is defined and numbered by the device during initialization the period after physical connection called enumeration, and so is relatively permanent, whereas a pipe may be opened and closed. There are two types of pipe, stream and message. A message pipe is bidirectional and is used for control transfers. Message pipes are typically used for short, simple commands to the device, and a status response, used, for example, by the bus control pipe number zero. A stream pipe is a unidirectional pipe connected to a unidirectional endpoint that transfers data using an isochronous, interrupt, or bulk transfer. Isochronous transfers at some guaranteed data rate for fixed bandwidth streaming data but with possible data loss e.g., real-time audio or video. Interrupt transfers Devices that need guaranteed quick responses bounded latency such as pointing devices, mice, and keyboards Bulk transfers Large sporadic transfers using all remaining available bandwidth, but with no guarantees on bandwidth or latency e.g., file transfers When a host starts a data transfer, it sends a token packet containing an endpoint specified with a tuple of device underscore address, endpoint underscore number. If the transfer is from the host to the endpoint, the host sends an out packet a specialization of a token packet with the desired device address and endpoint number. If the data transfer is from the device to the host, the host sends an in-packet instead. If the destination endpoint is a unidirectional endpoint whose manufacturer's designated direction does not match the token packet e.g. the manufacturer's designated direction is in while the token packet is an out packet, the token packet is ignored. Otherwise, it is accepted and the data transaction can start. A bi-directional endpoint, on the other hand, accepts both in and out packets. Endpoints are grouped into interfaces and each interface is associated with a single device function. An exception to this is endpoint 0, which is used for device configuration and is not associated with any interface. A single device function composed of independently controlled interfaces is called a composite device. A composite device only has a single device address because the host only assigns a device address to a function. When a USB device is first connected to a USB host, the USB device enumeration process is started. The enumeration starts by sending a reset signal to the USB device. The data rate of the USB device is determined during the reset signaling. After reset, the USB device's information is read by the host and the device is assigned a unique 7-bit address. If the device is supported by the host, the device drivers needed for communicating with the device are loaded and the device is set to a configured state. If the USB host is restarted, the enumeration process is repeated for all connected devices. The host controller directs traffic flow to devices, so no USB device can transfer any data on the bus without an explicit request from the host controller. In USB 2.0, the host controller pulls the bus for traffic, usually in a round-robin fashion. The throughput of each USB port is determined by the slower speed of either the USB port or the USB device connected to the port. 
High-speed USB 2.0 hubs contain devices called transaction translators that convert between high-speed USB 2.0 buses and full and low-speed buses. There may be one translator per hub or per port. Because there are two separate controllers in each USB 3.0 host, USB 3.0 devices transmit and receive at USB 3.0 data rates regardless of USB 2.0 or earlier devices connected to that host. Operating data rates for earlier devices are set in the legacy manner. Topic. Device classes The functionality of a USB device is defined by a class code sent to a USB host. This allows the host to load software modules for the device and to support new devices from different manufacturers. Device classes include topic. USB mass storage, USB drive USB Mass Storage Device Class MSC or UMS standardizes connections to storage devices. At first intended for magnetic and optical drives, it has been extended to support flash drives. It has also been extended to support a wide variety of novel devices as many systems can be controlled with the familiar metaphor of file manipulation within directories. The process of making a novel device look like a familiar device is also known as extension. The ability to boot a write locked SD card with a USB adapter is particularly advantageous for maintaining the integrity and non corruptible, pristine state of the booting medium. Though most personal computers since mid 2004 can boot from USB mass storage devices, USB is not intended as a primary bus for a computer's internal storage. However, USB has the advantage of allowing hot swapping, making it useful for mobile peripherals, including drives of various kinds. Several manufacturers offer external portable USB hard disk drives, or empty enclosures for disk drives. These offer performance comparable to internal drives, limited by the current number and types of attached USB devices, and by the upper limit of the USB interface. Other competing standards for external drive connectivity include a SATA, ExpressCard, FireWire IEEE and most recently Thunderbolt. Another use for USB mass storage devices is the portable execution of software applications such as web browsers and VoIP clients with no need to install them on the host computer. Topic: Media Transfer Protocol. Media Transfer Protocol (MTP) was designed by Microsoft to give higher level access to a device's file system than USB mass storage at the level of files rather than disk blocks. It also has optional DRM features. MTP was designed for use with portable media players, but it has since been adopted as the primary storage access protocol of the Android operating system from the version 4.1 Jelly Bean as well as Windows Phone 8 Windows Phone 7 devices had used the Zune protocol. An evolution of MTP. The primary reason for this is that MTP does not require exclusive access to the storage device the way UMS does, alleviating potential problems should an Android program request the storage while it is attached to a computer. The main drawback is that MTP is not as well supported outside of Windows operating systems. Topic. Human interface devices Joysticks, keypads, tablets and other human interface devices HIDs are also progressively migrating from MIDI, and PC game port connectors to USB. USB mice and keyboards can usually be used with older computers that have PS2 connectors with the aid of a small USB to PS2 adapter. For mice and keyboards with dual protocol support, an adapter that contains no logic circuitry may be used. The hardware in the USB keyboard or mouse is designed to detect whether it is connected to a USB or PS2 port, and communicate using the appropriate protocol. Converters also exist that connect PS2 keyboards and mice, usually one of each, to a USB port. These devices present two HID endpoints to the system and use a microcontroller to perform bidirectional data translation between the two standards. Topic. Device firmware upgrade 
Device Firmware Upgrade DFU is a vendor and device independent mechanism for upgrading the firmware of USB devices with improved versions provided by their manufacturers, offering for example, a way to deploy firmware bug fixes. During the firmware upgrade operation, USB devices change their operating mode effectively becoming a PROM programmer. Any class of USB device can implement this capability by following the official DFU specifications. In addition to its intended legitimate purposes, DFU can also be exploited by uploading maliciously crafted firmware that causes USB devices to spoof various other device types. One such exploiting approach is known as BADUB. Topic: <laughs> Audio streaming. The USB Device Working Group has laid out specifications for audio streaming, and specific standards have been developed and implemented for audio class uses, such as microphones, speakers, headsets, telephones, musical instruments, etc. The DWG has published three versions of audio device specifications, Audio 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0, referred to as UAC or ADC. UAC 2.0 introduced support for high-speed USB in addition to full speed, allowing greater bandwidth for multi-channel interfaces, higher sample rates, lower inherent latency, and 8 times improvement in timing resolution in synchronous and adaptive modes. UAC2 also introduces the concept of clock domains, which provides information to the host about which input and output terminals derive their clocks from the same source, as well as improved support for audio encodings like DSD, audio effects, channel clustering, user controls, and device descriptions. UAC3.0 primarily introduces improvements for portable devices, such as reduced power usage by bursting the data and staying in low power mode more often, and power domains for different components of the device. Device, allowing them to be shut down when not in use. UAC 1.0 devices are still common, however, due to their cross platform driverless compatibility, and Microsoft's failure to implement UAC 2.0 for over a decade after its publication. Android also only implements a subset of UAC 1.0. UAC 2.0 is supported by macOS, iOS, and Linux. USB provides three isochronous fixed bandwidth synchronization types, all of which are used by audio devices. Asynchronous the ADC or DAC are not synced to the host computer's clock at all, operating off a free running clock local to the device. Synchronous the device's clock is synced to the USB start of frame or bus interval signals. For instance, this can require syncing a 11.2896 MHz clock to a 1 kHz SOF signal, a large frequency multiplication. Adaptive the device's clock is synced to the amount of data sent per frame by the host while the USB spec originally described asynchronous mode being used in low-cost speakers and adaptive mode in high-end digital speakers. The opposite perception exists in the hi-fi world, where asynchronous mode is advertised as a feature, and adaptive, synchronous modes have a bad reputation. In reality, all the types can be high quality or low quality, depending on the quality of their engineering and the application. Asynchronous has the benefit of being untied from the computer's clock, but the disadvantage of requiring sample rate conversion when combining multiple sources. Topic. Connectors The connectors the USB committee specifies support a number of USB's underlying goals, and reflect lessons learned from the many connectors the computer industry has used. The female connector mounted on the host or device is called the receptacle, and the male connector attached to the cable is called the plug. The official USB specification documents also periodically define the term male to represent the plug, and female to represent the receptacle. By design, it is difficult to insert a USB plug into its receptacle incorrectly. The USB specification requires that the cable plug and receptacle be marked so the user can recognize the proper orientation. The Type-C plug is reversible. USB cables and small USB devices are held in place by the gripping force from the receptacle, with no screws, clips, or thumb turns as some connectors use. The different A and B plugs prevent accidentally connecting two power sources. However, some of this directed topology is lost with the advent of multipurpose USB connections such as USB on-the-go in smartphones, and USB-powered Wi-Fi routers, which require A to A, B to B, and sometimes Y, splitter cables. 
USB connector types multiplied as the specification progressed. The original USB specification detailed standard A and standard B plugs and receptacles. The connectors were different so that users could not connect one computer receptacle to another. The data pins in the standard plugs are recessed compared to the power pins, so that the device can power up before establishing a data connection. Some devices operate in different modes depending on whether the data connection is made. Charging docks supply power and do not include a host device or data pins, allowing any capable USB device to charge or operate from a standard USB cable. Charging cables provide power connections, but not data. In a charge-only cable, the data wires are shorted at the device end, otherwise the device may reject the charger as unsuitable. Topic. Cabling The USB 1.1 standard specifies that a standard cable can have a maximum length of 5 meters 16 feet 5 in with devices operating at full speed 12 megabits per second, and a maximum length of 3 meters 9 feet 10 in with devices operating at low speed 1.5 megabits slash s closing parenthesis dot use 2.0 provides for a maximum cable length of 5 meters 16 feet 5 in for devices running at high speed 480 megabits per second, the USB 3.0 0.0 standard does not directly specify a maximum cable length, requiring only that all cables meet an electrical specification. For copper cabling with 26 Aruban florins wires, the maximum practical length is 3 meters (9 feet 10 in). Topic: <laughs> Power. USB supplies power at 5 volts plus or minus 5% to power USB downstream devices. Topic. Low power and high power devices Low power devices such as a typical USB keyboard may draw at most one unit load one unit load is 100 mA for USB devices up to USB 2.0, while USB 3.0 defines a unit load as 150 mA, and all devices must act as low power devices when starting out as unconfigured. High power devices such as a typical 2.5 inch USB hard drive draw at least one unit load and at most five unit loads 500 milliamperes for devices up to USB 2.0 or six unit loads 900 milliamperes for superspeed devices. To recognize battery charging, a dedicated charging port places a resistance not exceeding 200 ohms across the D plus and D minus terminals. In addition to standard USB, there is a proprietary high powered system known as PowerAdub, developed in the 1990s, and mainly used in point of sale terminals such as cash registers. Signaling Electrical specification USB signals are transmitted using differential signaling on a twisted pair data cable with 90 ohms plus or minus 15% characteristic impedance. Low speed LS and full speed FS modes use a single data pair, labeled D plus and D minus, in half duplex. Transmitted signal levels are 0.0 to 0.3 volts for logical low, and 2.8 to 3.6 volts for logical high level. The signal lines are not terminated. High-speed HS mode uses the same wire pair, but with different electrical conventions. Lower signal voltages of minus 10 to 10 mV for low and 360 to 440 mV for logical high level, and termination of 45 ohms to ground or 90 ohms differential to match the data cable impedance. Superspeed SS adds two additional pairs of shielded twisted wire and new, mostly compatible expanded connectors. These are dedicated to full duplex superspeed operation. The half duplex lines are still used for configuration. Superspeed Plus SS Plus uses increased data rate Gen 2 by 1 mode and or the additional lane in the Type C connector Gen 1 by 2 and Gen 2 by 2 mode. A USB connection is always between a host or hub at the A connector end and a device or hub's upstream port at the other end. Topic. Protocol layer During USB communication, data is transmitted as packets. Initially, all packets are sent from the host via the root hub, and possibly more hubs, to devices. 
Some of those packets direct a device to send some packets in reply. Transactions The basic transactions of USB are Out transaction In transaction Setup transaction Control transfer exchange Topic. Related standards The USB Implementers Forum is working on a wireless networking standard based on the USB protocol. Wireless USB is a cable replacement technology, and uses ultra-wideband wireless technology for data rates of up to 480 megabits per second. Interchip USB is a chip-to-chip -chip variant that eliminates the conventional transceivers found in normal USB. The HSIC physical layer uses about 50% less power and 75% less board area compared to USB 2.0. Topic: <laughs> Comparisons with other connection methods. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Firewire. At first, USB was considered a complement to IEEE 1394 Firewire technology, which was designed as a high-bandwidth serial bus that efficiently interconnects peripherals such as disk drives, audio interfaces, and video equipment. In the initial design, USB operated at a far lower data rate and used less sophisticated hardware. It was suitable for small peripherals such as keyboards and pointing devices. The most significant technical differences between FireWire and USB include USB networks use a tiered star topology, while IEEE 1394 networks use a tree topology. USB 1.0, 1.1, and 2.0 use a speak when spoken to protocol, meaning that each peripheral communicates with the host when the host specifically requests it to communicate. USB 3.0 allows for device-initiated communications towards the host. A FireWire device can communicate with any other node at any time, subject to network conditions. A USB network relies on a single host at the top of the tree to control the network. All communications are between the host and one peripheral. In a FireWire network, any capable node can control the network. USB runs with a 5 volts power line, while FireWire in current implementations supplies 12 volts and theoretically can supply up to 30 V. Standard USB hub ports can provide from the typical 500 mA, 2.5 W of current, only 100 mA from non-hub ports. USB 3.0 and USB on the go supply 1.8A, 9.0W for dedicated battery charging, 1.5A, 7.5W full bandwidth or 900 mA, 4.5W high bandwidth, while FireWire can in theory supply up to 60 watts of power, although 10 to 20 watts is more typical. These and other differences reflect the differing design goals of the two buses. USB was designed for simplicity and low cost, while FireWire was designed for high performance performance, particularly in time-sensitive applications such as audio and video. Although similar in theoretical maximum transfer rate, FireWire 400 is faster than USB 2.0 high bandwidth in real use, especially in high bandwidth use such as external hard drives. The newer FireWire 800 standard is twice as fast as FireWire 400 and faster than USB 2.0 high bandwidth both theoretically and practically. However, FireWire's speed advantages rely on low-level techniques such as direct memory access DMA, which in turn have created opportunities for security exploits such as the DMA attack. The chipset and drivers used to implement USB and FireWire have a crucial impact on how much of the bandwidth prescribed by the specification is achieved in the real world, along with compatibility with peripherals. Topic. Ethernet. The IEEE 802.3 AF power over Ethernet PO standard specifies a more elaborate power negotiation scheme than powered USB. It operates at 48 volts DC and can supply more power up to 12.95 W, PO plus 25.5 W over a cable up to 100 meters compared to USB 2.0, which provides 2.5 W with a maximum cable length of 5 meters. This has made PO popular for VoIP telephones, security cameras, wireless access points, and other network devices within buildings. 
However, USB is cheaper than PO provided that the distance is short and power demand is low. Ethernet standards require electrical isolation between the network device computer, phone, etc. and the network cable up to 1500 volts AC or 2250 volts DC for 60 seconds. USB has no such requirement as it was designed for peripherals closely associated with a host computer, and in fact it connects the peripheral and host grounds. This gives Ethernet a significant safety advantage over USB with peripherals such as cable and DSL modems connected to external wiring that can assume hazardous voltages under certain fault conditions. Topic. MIDI The USB device class definition for MIDI devices allows Music Instrument Digital Interface MIDI music data to be sent over USB. The MIDI capability is extended to allow up to 16 simultaneous virtual MIDI cables, each of which can carry the usual MIDI 16 channels and clocks. USB is competitive for low-cost and physically adjacent devices. However, power over Ethernet and the MIDI plug standard have an advantage in high-end devices that may have long cables. USB can cause ground loop problems between equipment, because it connects ground references on both transceivers. By contrast, the MIDI plug standard and Ethernet have built-in isolation to 500 volts or more. Topic. ASADA, ASADIP The ASADA connector is a more robust SATA connector, intended for connection to external hard drives and SSDs. ASADA's transfer rate up to 6 gigabits per second is similar to that of USB 3.0 up to 5 gigabits per second on current devices. 10 gigabits per second speeds via USB 3.1 announced on the 31st of July 2013. A device connected by ASADA appears as an ordinary SATA device, giving both full performance and full compatibility associated with internal drives. ASADA does not supply power to external devices. This is an increasing disadvantage compared to USB. Even though USB 3.0's 4.5W is sometimes insufficient to power external hard drives, technology is advancing and external drives gradually need less power, diminishing the ASADA advantage. ASADA power over ASADA, aka ASADA USB, is a connector introduced in 2009 that supplies power to attached devices using a new backward compatible connector. On a notebook, ASADA usually supplies only 5 volts to power a 2.5-inch HDD SSD. On a desktop workstation, it can additionally supply 12 volts to power larger devices including 3.5-inch HDD SSD and 5.25-inch optical drives. A SADAP support can be added to a desktop machine in the form of a bracket connecting the motherboard SATA, power, and USB resources. A SADA, like USB, supports hot plugging, although this might be limited by OS drivers and device firmware. Topic. Thunderbolt Thunderbolt combines PCI Express and Mini DisplayPort into a new serial data interface. Original Thunderbolt implementations have two channels, each with a transfer speed of 10 gigabits per second, resulting in an aggregate unidirectional bandwidth of 20 gigabits per second. Thunderbolt 2 uses link aggregation to combine the two 10 gigabits per second channels into one bi-directional 20 gigabits per second channel. Thunderbolt 3 uses the USB Type-C connector. Thunderbolt 3 has one 40 gigabits per second channel. Topic. Interoperability Various protocol converters are available that convert USB data signals to and from other communications standards. Topic. See also Topic. References Topic. Further reading Axelson, Jan. The 1st of September 2006. USB Mass Storage: Designing and Programming Devices and Embedded Hosts. First ed. Lakeview Research. ISBN 9781931448048. The 1st of December 2007. Serial Port Complete: COM Ports, USB Virtual COM Ports, and Ports for Embedded Systems. Second ed. Lakeview Research.
ISBN 978-1-931-44806-2 2015. USB Complete, The Developer's Guide 5th ed. Lakeview Research. ISBN 978-1-931448-28-4. Hyde, John February 2001. USB Design by Example, A Practical Guide to Building I.O. Devices 2nd ed. Intel Press. ISBN 978-0-970-28465-5. Debugging USB 2.0 for Compliance, It's Not Just a Digital World. PDF. Technologies Application Note 1382-3. Agilent. Archived from the original PDF on 25 July 2012. <laughs> external links USB Implementers Forum Universal Host Controller Interface UHCI. PDF. Intel. USB 3.0 Standard A, Standard B, Powered B Connectors. Pinouts Guide. Characterization and Compliance Test. Agilent. Muller, Hank. How to Create and Program USB Devices. Electronic Design, July 2012 An Analysis of Throughput Characteristics of Universal Serial Bus, June 1996, by John Garney USB 2.0 Protocol Engine, October 2010, by Razi Hershen Horan and Omer Resnick IEC International Standard, IEC 62680 Universal Serial Bus Interfaces for Data and Power IEC 62680-1.1, 2015 Part 1 to 1, Common Components, USB Battery Charging Specification, Revision 1.2. IEC 62680-1-2 to 2016 Part 1 to 2, Common Components, USB Power Delivery Specification, Revision 1.0. IEC 62680-1-3 to 2016 part 1 to 3 Universal Serial Bus Interfaces Common Components Revision 1.0 IEC 62680-2-1 to 2015 part 2 to 1 Universal Serial Bus Specification Revision 2.0 IEC 62680-2-2 to 2015 part 2 to 2 micro USB cables and connectors specification revision 1.01 IEC 62680-2-3 to 2015 part 2 to 3 universal serial bus cables and connectors class document revision 2 0